Thanks for coming by. You say, Brian, aren't you that overwhelmingly positive reviewer for the Dice Tower who seems to always find the good in games and never find anything negative about a game and always does positive reviews? Well, yes. Up until today. But much like Batman's back and Bane, I've been broken. Let's, let's just go, roll the intro. So spoilers the game. We played this at game night the other night. And it's got a movie clackboard, right? That's good, good art, something positive. It's a party game by Menu Palau. Zacatris Brain Picnic. I, it's weird. Look, here's the deal. This game is cashing in on the whole idea of spoilers, right? Um, he, the game is basically a party game where you're playing against each other. Uh, it involves some lying mechanics and bluffing mechanics and things like that. So it's got some interesting concepts. He just doesn't pull it off. Uh, and specifically, one of the instructions in the, in the rule book says, once you're done playing, you can tear the cards up and throw them away or keep them in a bag for later for someone else to try. I think I might just do that with the yeah, first part of that rule book. Here's the deal, spoilers. Let's look at how it plays first and then I'll come back and talk. So this is the basic setup of spoilers. Everyone gets a liometer or a liometer, depending on which country you're from, right? And then uh, it moves, look, this is cute though. I gotta, I gotta say, it. this is the one shining point of this game is this does look pretty cute when the nose grows. Look at that, if you did that in stop motion, it would look really impressive. It would look like the, look at that, it almost looks like the nose is growing magically. It's crazy, but I'm actually just pulling this card away from this card, spoiler. Sorry. Uh, so here's how it works. The spoiler person will read a card. They'll draw a card out of the stack. This one is tagline, welcome. These are better cards than the ones about certain movies. So welcome. Guess the movie from the tagline. Cool premise, right? Welcome to a world without rules. Pretty obscure. I don't remember that tagline being for the Dark Knight. Anyway, you say A, is it Mad Max 2? B, the Dark Knight? Or C, Alice in Wonderland, right? Well then, the spoiler would recommend, I recommend you pick B if you were gonna tell the truth, because let's just say you're out to here. Well, at the end of the game, you're minus two points. So if you come here, you can bump your nose back in if you're telling the truth. So the spoiler recommends B. They don't know that's the right answer or not. They get together and they corroborate and they say, well, you know what, I think A is probably the right answer. Let's say A is the right answer and give the extra point to A. So when we all guess A here in a minute, well, I'm sorry, the spoiler would do this first. He would put the one that's right, and then he would put this weird, uh, phony trap answer, which if you guess the trap answer, you give the spoiler extra points. So it's kind of weird. He's trying to trap you at the same time. He's trying to also be helpful. So you can never know what to trust. That is the one interesting concept of the social deduction is you can never, ever, ever know what to trust. Even if this points thing is all the way down to two or all the way up to plus, minus two, it doesn't matter because you can keep lying. You just don't lose any more points than that. You can keep telling the truth. You just don't gain any more points than that. So if you continue to lie when it's all the way out to here, you don't lose any more points, you just keep lying. If you continue to tell the truth, you don't gain any more points, you just continue to gain points. But it's one of those kind of, you know, right hand, right hand, right hand, boom, it's my left hand type gags where you're trying to fool people. So uh, everybody just guesses, they say, well, I think it's I think it's C, no, I think it's A, no, I think it's B, no, I think it's B too. So everyone flips over, the, the spoiler captain flips this over. Oh, the right answer is B. Well, you, sir, you score a point, and you score a point, ma'am. Up, oh, you got trapped by me. So when you pick the trap answer, as it says up here, you lose extra points. Oh, I lied, it doesn't say it up here because that's one of my other major problems. This rule book is not very helpful at all. It took a long time reading through this two page rule book to get how this game is played. And even then we were still shaky on the rules. That should never be the case, but the spoiler captain gets points if you get if he gets them or she gets them to pick the trap answer that's how the spoiler captain gets points they get points by guessing the right answer plus the extra point so it kind of tells you exactly what that extra point does if it's the spoiler uh, if they put it on the one that's the trap answer then the spoiler captain gets extra points or captain spoiler gets extra points captain spoiler also a submarine game right no okay um 
here's the here's the kind of the round. You play through uh, until eight tokens are played. You show them all, check the bets, points are given, and you just keep going. Once the round is finished, the person to the left becomes the new spoiler captain, and the game changes. And that is spoilers to a T. Very sad, disappointing, extendable nose T. So that's really it. I mean, you you kind of lie. Uh, even though it doesn't really benefit you to lie or tell the truth, it kind of benefits you to do not really both. In fact, it's it's more beneficial to tell the truth and try to get them to guess. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Like You're trying to get them to guess what you don't pick. So it's a kind of a bluffing game, but you're talking about something so obscure that, for instance, some of these cards were things that were movies that I did know about. And those were the ones where the game got a little bit interesting. But the ones where it's like, let's see, what's one of these Dress to Kill? So I'm pretty sure this is a, uh, a Sherlock Holmes movie, right? So I was vaguely familiar with this one. But then you get into things like this, which is, oh, I don't know, let's find another one, sorry. Uh, Indestructible Man, 1956. I've never seen this. So when it says Charles Butcher, Benton, is going to die in the gas chamber and he hasn't told anyone where the stash is hidden, however, he's left a map for his girlfriend, Eva, in a, an envelope. Spoiler, that's the right answer. Maybe that's why it's called this. B, his belt, or C, his shoe. That doesn't mean anything. No one cares. There's no emotional attachment, unfortunately, to any of these answers, unless you've seen The Indestructible Man. If you have, you probably would get a great kick out of this. Now, the ones that are fun and ones that are slightly better are the ones like this where it says, welcome. All the clues are about the tagline of the word welcome. The problem is there were duplicate answers where one of them was right and one of them was wrong based on one of these taglines. I'm trying to remember which one it was, but it, it didn't work considering at one point the tagline was wrong and at another point the tagline was right. So it's just silly. It's a silly game. Like it doesn't make sense. The, the mechanics don't really work. The bluffing doesn't really work. None of it really works out how you want it to. I think it cashes in on the whole idea. People like to say the word spoiler, spoiler. So that's spoilers. You can pass on this game. I just, I hate saying that. I hate being the negative guy, but you can pass on this game. It's just, it's not fun. It's not that engaging and the mechanics just aren't there. The game's not really there either. Like I said, it's a clapboard and then a hook to show that you're faking people out. That's it, really. That's, that's it. Sorry to be such a dour review on this one, but uh, that's spoilers. For more, check out Brian Drake. You know, I'm check out at the bottom here the latest retro. And we'll be doing some more videos very soon. Tonight, actually. I'm recording a bunch tonight, so we'll see ya. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.